Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. There's a brand that doesn't get too much exposure, publicity, or even recognition from the general public, or watch collectors for that matter, but I think it should. And that brand is Habring. It's not well known. It's a uh, husband and wife team, Richard and Maria Habring, located in Volkermarkt, Austria. Austria is not a very common place for a watch company, but in this case, Habring is located there. They started their watchmaking business back in 2004. Both Richard and Maria Habring are accomplished watchmakers, husband and wife team, as I mentioned. They started more than 10 years ago, and previously, Richard Habring was, the, was working for and developed for IWC their double chronograph earlier in his career. And that was based on the Valjoux 7750, and it featured a um, Rotterpante module, uh, split seconds. And basically, uh, Rotterpante or split seconds chronograph is uh, when you start the watch, the chronograph begins, and then when you actuate it again, the first second hand stops. That gives you your split second timing. The second hand keeps on going, and then when you actuate it again, the first hand catches up with the second. So it's a very difficult complication to do, and Richard had done that earlier in his career for IWC. Hobbring, and also the, the Hobbring 2, the 2 comes from the fact that it's uh, Richard Maria as a team. They've won a number of awards, and the awards that they've won are from the Grand Prix de Hollerage de Genève. Now, if you don't know, the GPHG is the annual Watchmaker Grand Prix Awards. Every year in Geneva, watch companies, watchmakers, industry uh, specialists all get together and they vote on watches in different categories and come up with awards for the best watches. So in 2012, Habring got the the award for the uh, Doppel II uh, split chronograph. In 2013, Habring received the Petit Aguil Award, that's one of the categories, for their jumping second pilot watch. And a jumping second, if you think of a, um, a course watch where the second hand moves from second to second to second, and as you probably know, in a mechanical watch, there's more of a sweep. And depending upon the frequency of the internal movement, that sweep is either fine or very fine or extremely fine. So in doing a jumping second, sometimes called a dead second, it's a, another very difficult complication to do where it's a mechanical watch, but the second hand moves from second to second to second. So Habring won the, the award in 2013 with their jumping second pilot. And then in 2015, Habring won another Grand Prix award, and this was for their Felix. That's what we're looking at right now, and what I'm going to do a brief review of in this video. In the category called Petite Aguille, which is an award that's open to any watch priced under $8,000 Swiss francs. So, judges were impressed at the level of hand design and small-scale manufacture involved in considering the watch's price, saying, Each anchor is assembled and individually adjusted by hand. The balance springs are manually counted and curved. Hand-riveted wheel and pinion combinations and screws polished and blued by hand are just a few examples that make Felix's movement stand out from industrially manufactured clockworks. Now, La Petite Aguille is a category for any watch, doesn't matter what type. The other categories are men's watch, ladies' watches, sport watches, things like that. So in 2015, Habring II won, won the award for the uh, Felix. The Habrick II Felix 
was developed in 2014. It's a manual wind movement, time only, no complications, 48 hour power reserve, 28, 8,000 beats per hour, 38 and a half a millimeter in diameter, 30 meter water resistant, and it's a very slim seven millimeter thick sapphire crystal front and back. So as you can see, it's, it looks deceptively simple, but you can tell that it's really a very high quality watch. If you look at the side, you can see that it's very, very slim. As I mentioned, seven millimeters. And then the back, the movement is the hovering A11B movement. A for made in Austria, Austria. 11 because they started development in 2011 for the movement. B for basis, it's a basic movement. It's really, really nice. Not a lot of finishing, not a lot of extra superfluous details on it, but just a very, very high quality watch. And it's also almost entirely made in Austria. Hoppering has partnered with both Swiss and German firms, uh, all family, small family businesses, to create the Hoppering 2 Felix. Hoppering produces the escapement, the balance wheel and the hairspring, and winding and adjustment mechanisms. It's also very customizable. So you can get the Felix in either a black or a silver white dial. Obviously this is the silver white dial. You can get either a black or red 12 at the top. I chose the red 12 for my piece. I think it adds a little bit of pop to the, uh, to the dial. And you can choose either Roman or Arabic numbers. Or you can choose just indicators like I have. I don't normally do an unboxing in videos. But I wanted to just show what you get with the Harboring 2 Felix. It comes in this wooden box, little uh, owner's manual. But what's interesting is what's included in the, the box. And if we look inside, you can see that they include extra spring bars they include an extra uh actually two gaskets a crown and on the right hand side here is a uh, is stem so they feel like if this watch ever does need any kind of service you can have the parts that are needed to uh, to do it hoppering makes um about 150 of these per year so it's not a high volume watch uh, basically a handmade watch and it's I guess you would consider it a, a, a bespoke watch because you can um, you can decide exactly how you want it customize it and have the, the exact watch that you want it retails for about forty eight hundred dollars which is a uh, really good value relatively for the kind of movement that you get a handmade movement in-house movement from a small uh, high quality watchmaker and there's the um, the fact that it's rather unique. I mean, you're not going to see a lot of these on people's wrists as you're out and about doing your business. In the USA, it's available from uh, Martin Pulley. I'll have a link in the description on how to reach him and his company. So what do I like about the Hovering 2? Well, I like the fact that it's uh, in-house. It does fall within chronometer requirements. In fact, a few months ago, I went to a uh, watch event at a high-end luxury uh, jewelry store in Princeton, New Jersey. And this jewelry store sells, in addition to Rolex and Jagger La Coltre, they also sell Patek Philippe and Cartier and uh, some other high-end brands. So at this event, there were their three watchmakers, and I was wearing this watch. I was wearing the Hobbering 2 Felix, and I was talking to the watchmakers about it. They weren't familiar with Hobbering. I told them the story, gave them a little background. They put it on two different time grapher machines at the store and the watch was almost perfect on both time graphers both the the Weechi high-end one and the uh, the more regular time grapher so they were quite impressed 
Uh, and these are these are watchmakers in a, a high-end jewelry store. So it's uh, it's a in-house movement. Beautiful watch, high-end, customizable, very high quality. The quality, I mean, just again, just looking at the movement, the case. When I when I wear this watch, I feel like I'm wearing something very very special. It's understated. So let me finish by saying that this is a relatively good value. Sure, almost five thousand dollars is rather a lot of money for a watch, but comparatively speaking, you're getting a lot for your money here. And if I can, uh, if I can quote Oscar Wilde here in writing about, he asked the question, what is a cynic? Uh, a cynic is a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. So there are a lot of watches that you can buy in the $5,000 price range, but there aren't a lot of watches that give you this level of value for your money. So there you have it, the Hobbring 2 Felix watch. I like it very much. It's a keeper in my collection, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.